My mother was a storyteller. She told the most nightmarish stories imaginable. My mom was 12 when the war started. She came home one day when she was 14 and the house was empty. Everybody was gone. They saw a white star on that tank and on the helmet of the soldier. Then they understood these were not Germans and those turned out to be Americans. Mr. Hi. Towers. How are you? Thank you. I take a great deal of pride in having been a small part of the liberation of, of your parents and of so many others. We had a, a pink Star of David graffitied on our front door. There were more gay couples in the building, but no Jewish couples. So that was for us. My Amsterdam is not my Amsterdam anymore. I was literally walking outside this house and all of a sudden I see this gigantic crowd and I hear them yell, Hamas, Hamas, Jews to the gas. Last year there was a demonstration of IS. <laughs> Europe is really rapidly going uh, down fast. But now we start to see ominous and familiar warning signs in America. Jews, replace us! The overwhelming wave of it came during the last election cycle from the so-called alt-right, much people who think the Jews are undermining uh, the white Christendom of the United States. It's very difficult nowadays to show you Jewishness. So people try to be invisible as Jews. Invisible, yeah. I wish I could say with absolute confidence that never again is now does not count for the United States. But I'm not sure that one can say that. I want to join the forces that stand up, the kind of forces that liberated my parents. I want to join them rather than wait for them.